you can't expect that if you're going to see everything like God sees them, you're not going to make some changes in your life. Surely you're going to make a whole lot of changes. Or as my pastor would say, an overhaul. Like he's going to tell you all around. <laughs> to my channel my name is Esther and welcome to Esther's vlogs so today is Sunday and I thought to share what we learned today in service so anyways I think this one I'm gonna be doing more often because I don't really get to get go to church every day being a nurse you have to be considerate and I'll allow other people to say enjoy their Sunday at home so sometimes you take a Sunday off some blah 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 so yeah that's why I don't go to church every Sunday Here's also something else I came up with. So, we're going to be doing a new thing on this channel, on which is the German word for the day. So, the German word for today is Hingabe. Yeah, Hingabe. Spelled, spelled H-I-N-G-A-B-E. That's what Hingabe is spelled. So, what does Hingabe mean? Hingabe, Hingabe literally means dedication or commitment or some kind of passion if you understand what i mean by that some kind of you know deeper dedication now the verb for the, this is the noun of the word hingabe is the noun and the verb is hingeben so um just to make it easier for you this is how i choose to learn german sometimes when you see a complex verb like that which means it or a compound verb which has two more two parts to it which is hin a prefix and geben the um verb itself not sorry <laughs> the verb itself what i try to do is to split them and find out what each one means and put it together and that way you get a better understanding of it and that way you use it even more often because you really understand what the word means so what does hingabe mean hin is kind of a prefix used to explain uh an inward movement if that makes sense not yeah just like an inward movement of an idea or something not necessarily inward movement of of matter i'm not sure if it makes sense anyway i'm hoping you understand and the verb itself given given means to give so when you put it together it sounds like to give in but in german it's called hingabe and hingabe or hingeben in the verb form means to be dedicated to commit yourself to something why did i choose this word for this video you're about to find out so back to what we learned in church today so today in service i got out of service with about four main points yeah four or five main points and that's what i really want to share with you so what we're talking about today we spoke about seeking the kingdom of god first and every other thing will be added to you but basically the seeking how important is the seeking the first thing we learned today is don't buy jesus what does that even mean so not buying jesus literally means do not get jesus in exchange for something yes the scripture says um get seek ye first the kingdom of god that is matthew 6 33 seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and everything will be added unto you but and everything will be added unto you but in the same way do not just do it so that everything will be added onto you. So that way, you're not doing it all. You're not doing it all to yourself. You're really putting God in the center. Remember, when you seek, you look for something. You are not trying to make yourself good or make yourself look good by what you do. Instead, you're actually trying to find out. So removing the idea of what you're going to get is going to help you focus in the seeking. Secondly. To love Jesus is to be committed. Remember the word hingabe? Yeah, this is where it comes in. So, to love Jesus is to be committed. Loving Jesus doesn't come easy. It comes with responsibilities. Remember in the scripture where the Lord said, he spoke to Peter and he said, if you love me, do my commandments. That is it. It's commitment. It's not about just saying it. Oh, I love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. It's being committed. And that is so important. 
Third point, following Jesus means demands. True. Now, this I've also experienced in my life, which is when you get, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, he doesn't leave you the way he met you. No, he tries to change you or he changes you if you let him do it. And he's going to change your attitude, your way of talking, your ideas, your, your, your everything. He's going to help. He's going to help you change all of that to his own standard and help you bring you up to a place where you can start seeing the world and seeing every situation around you like he sees them. Now, you can't expect that if you're going to see everything like God sees them, you're not going to make some changes in your life. Surely you're going to make a whole lot of changes. Or as my pastor would say, an overhaul. Like he's going to tell you all around just to get you there. So, yeah. So expect that when you want to seek God, it's going to, it's going to require a lot of overhauling, a lot of changes in yourself. And when they come, accept them. Don't fight them. It is the will of God for you so that you can do his will. And the four points. The four point actually says, when you're going to serve God, make sure he's first. Don't put anything before him. Don't put anything in his own place. If that, yeah, I'm sure you understand what I mean. Don't put anything in his own place. Like the scripture says in Matthew 6, 33, because that was the main scripture for the day. Matthew 6, 33 says, seek ye first the kingdom of God. Seek ye first. That means no matter what happens, the first person to seek is him first. And if you seek him first, every other thing will be added unto you. Remember? So don't go around trying every other thing first before you're not feeling like, oh yeah, so since everything failed, I think now is the time to try God. No, that's wrong. Seek God first and everything will be added unto you. That's actually how it works. So guys, this is what we learned today in service. This is a new series I'm trying out. Let me know if you liked it. And also don't forget to put down in the comment box what you also learned from service. And we can talk about it. Remember, information is given to you to change you and not just to leave you the way it met you. Like if you learn something, then you should change. If you don't change, you didn't learn. All right. So guys, until my next video, Peace out, pizza. Uh, uh. Okay, I'm playing too much. Today's Sunday was really fun though, but like really, really fun. I just have to say that. Is it just me or do I have raccoon eyes? Like, I don't know if you guys can see that. <laughs> so this is the price you pay for loving Jesus. Do your makeup to church and he gives you raccoon eyes while you come back home. If you know, you know. <laughs> Daddy got you.